sorry in advance for the amount of swearing this video is going to have. Forgive me, mother, for I have sinned, but I hated this book. And when I talk about it, I get a little bit riled up. So, beware. Swearing is coming, and also, there's going to be spoilers for this book. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today, your girl is back with another rant review. You guys seem to really enjoy these, and you know your girl loves to tell the truth when she doesn't like a book. I ain't gonna sugarcoat things. I hated this book. The book is Deadly Cool by Gemma Halliday. So, without further ado, let us get into this little rant review. Oh my god, that rhymed! You're so clever. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, to start off, let's give a little synopsis on this lovely book. This book follows Hartley Featherstone, who catches her beloved boyfriend, Josh, of six months. Take in that time frame, six months, okay? Just keep that in your head. She catches him cheating on her with the head of the chastity club, Courtney Kleins. Hartley decides that she is going to go and confront Josh at his house that day. She discovers Courtney Kleins in his closet. The only thing is, she's dead. She was strangled by some earphones, so, you know, sucks to suck to be Courtney. Also sucks to suck to be Courtney because, like, she literally was sucking. Bazinga. Eventually, Josh climbs in through her window, pleading his innocence to her, saying that he would never cheat on her, and he has no idea what happened to Courtney, somebody's framing him, and like, would you please help me, Hartley, because I love you so much, and I never meant to hurt you. So, like an idiot, Hartley agrees to help her now ex-boyfriend. <laughs> so, with the help of her friend Sam and the resident bad boy named Chase, she goes off on this journey in order to investigate the murder of Courtney Klein. This book made me so angry for a multiple of reasons. So, number one, why the hell did Hartley go through so much dang trouble to help a boy who cheated on her? I don't understand. Personally, this is just, this is just me, I guess. If a boy cheated on me, I would literally cut his penis off and then Never talk to him again. I don't understand the logic of let's solve a murder mystery because, you know, I believe you're innocent. I'd be like, bitch, rot in jail. I don't even care if you killed the bitch or not. She's a bitch and you're a jerk. Like, I would kick him back through the window that he climbed through. I'm just, is that just me? Is that just my logic? Am I just a normal person or am I not normal? Like, I don't understand why she sits there and she's like, oh my god, he's so cute. Obviously he's innocent. Like, look at his face. That's so cute. Like, personally, I'd be like, uh, serves you right for cheating on this bad bitch. Have fun in jail. <laughs> So now, let's talk about a couple of the ideas that the author decided to put forth in this book. The amount of girl-on-girl -girl shaming in this book was ridiculous. Literally, at least once per chapter, there was a mention of someone being too fat, too thin, or being a slut. Let's just put all the girls against each other, why don't we? It's a great idea. Teach children young that they can't be friends with each other, why not? Can we just take in a line that uh, is in this book on page 153? Okay, I'll just turn to it real quick and read it to you, okay. Are you ready? Rape! I screamed instinctively, swatting at my attacker. It was far from the truth, but as a girl, it was what I'd been programmed to yell when attacked. I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, the messages that we send young children these days, it's just great. Honestly, just the amount of stereotypes in this book and the amount of bashing in it made me want to throw it across the room half the time I was reading it. The author made sure to reinforce that cheerleaders, all cheerleaders, were sluts who got pregnant at the age of 15 and then had to drop out of school in order to raise their little bundle of joy because the father obviously ditched them. So, great message again. Another huge issue that I had with the book was the reason, reason. for why Josh decided to cheat on Hartley and his reason was literally because they have been dating for six months. Taking that time frame, six months, at the age of 16, just letting you all know. They were dating for six months, and she wouldn't put out, and therefore she was a prude. Just, just take that in. Teaching young girls that you have to put out after six months of dating, at the age of 16, or else you'll be a prude. Or else your boyfriend will cheat on you. More life lessons. It is also stated multiple times that Chase is totally ripped, and little Virgin Hartley would have put out if Josh had a body like that. I just, the logic that the author had writing this book... I don't understand. The idea that males are superior to females was also thrown in a lot in this book and I just, I ain't about that. It was also stated throughout the book that Sam 
Hartley's best friend was trying to censor her swearing because her boyfriend told her that it was unfeminine. My ex-boyfriend, taking the word ex because this is one of the reasons, tried to tell me that I wasn't allowed to swear because it was unladylike and like, bitch, if this motherfucker wants to swear like a motherfucker, she gonna swear like a motherfucker. And ain't no man gonna tell me I cannot swear like a motherfucker. He's now history and uh, your girl still swears like a motherfucker. Okay, so my next rant is about the fact that this bitch keeps going to deserted football fields at midnight to meet with strangers. Like, I'm sorry, bitch, what? Did your parents not teach you that, like, you know, going to meet strangers at midnight is not a good idea? Like, stranger danger, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, it serves you right that you got smashed over the head with a rock, because, like, where is your logic? She also goes on to national television declaring that she is this close to solving the murder mystery of her arch nemesis Courtney Klein's and she's going to catch the murderer. And I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure that police officers would not be too thrilled that a young teenager goes onto national TV saying that she's investigating a murder. Like, I'm pretty sure the police officers would put a stop to that, but no, the police officers just like, yeah, you do you, girl, have fun. Like, no, that would not happen in real life. I'm just saying, isn't this like tampering with evidence or something? Also, the spelling in text messages in this dang book was so annoying. Probably just like a personal thing for me because like I'm a stickler for spelling out words in a text message. But like in this book they don't use vowels. Like why are you not using vowels and why are you using numbers? And I just ugh, hate it so much. I can't. I can't. So now let's talk about the love attempt romance aspect of this book. Yes I say attempt because it was so pathetically done. There's an attempt at a love triangle. If you want to call it a love triangle, which I wouldn't because it was stupid. First, Josh is your typical jock character who everybody wants to date because he's a jock and he's super popular and good looking and blah blah blah. And then there's Chase, who is the biggest cliche in the entire world. Chase is the typical bad boy who wears all black and doesn't like the cops and uh, tops off the look with guy liner. So let's start with Josh. He's a piece of shit. The end. Now let's move on to Chase. There's literally no chemistry whatsoever between Hartley and Chase. They're literally just like dancing around each other being like, let's solve this murder, yay, so much fun, like I don't like you at all. And then, your boy pulls Hartley out of a burning building and suddenly they're making out on the ground and then she passes out and then they pretend it never happened. The end. Like why even attempt to put the romance aspect in the book if they're just gonna pretend it doesn't happen? Like I mean there's a sequel? So like maybe that's when the whole romance develops, but like, why? I'm not gonna read the sequel, so like I'm never gonna know, but why? The one redeeming quality like I will give to this book is that Hartley was actually a pretty funny character. She did have some great like one-line banter and like commentary with some of the characters. But then most of the time I wanted to punch her in the face because she was really annoying, so like, yeah, like balance? It was also like a super fast read. I read it in under four hours, so like at least I didn't waste a lot of time on it. Honestly, I could go on and on and on about this book, but ya girl is tired, so I'ma stop talking about this book. Thank you for watching my rant review. If you couldn't get the gist of it, it was a stupid book. I gave it a one out of five stars. I'm sure you could have guessed that. And um, personally, I would not recommend this book, but if you want to read it, you do you. Have fun. Let me know if you like it. But, like, I hated it. Alright, guys. So that was my, uh, rant review. Let me know down below if you want more rant reviews because your girl likes to throw the shade when she doesn't like a book. I don't like pretending that I like things when I don't. So I will let you know the truth and I will throw that shade. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.